<laughs> All right, on that note, we have Jack Daniels Triple Mash. The new Jack Daniels Triple Mash. Yes, we do. Yep. Um, are you excited? Sure. <laughs> that I'm does, excited. That doesn't sound very excited. I'm not the biggest fan of Jack. I know, but I have to like I have to really find something that I like when it comes to Jack Daniels. But the the uh, the bond was good. Yeah. Single barrel is good. Sinatra Slice is good. All right, hey, this is new. Let's give it a shot. How do you open the freaking thing? I might like it. Who knows? I'm hoping yeah. I do because I, see, I like drinking whiskeys and bourbons that I like to drink. Yeah. That tastes good. And here's the thing. Okay, so I'm not a like a massive Jack Daniels fan, but I also I don't dislike Jack Daniels either. I am really struggling. One thing I do like about these new bottles is it actually has a cork. That sucks. It was a little weak. The bottle is nice, even though it is only a 700 milliliter bottle, not a 750. The gypsum. I do like the uh, like the wood at the top of the cork too, where it's actually like carved into. They kind of put a little bit of uh, effort and money into this. It looks like. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I With the upcharge for the bottle that they're doing, uh, they should put a little bit of effort into it. I mean, the bottle, the the design of the bottle is very nice. It's definitely an upgrade from the old number seven. Absolutely. It's yeah. I mean, we'll see. Now this does come in. That 35 ish. I think the retail is supposed to be like 32, 33, something like that. Mm -hmm. We see it around us anywhere from like that 35 to 40. This is a new, along with the bond, this is a new permanent addition to the lineup. So don't overpay for these bottles. They should be somewhere in that 30 range, uh, that mid 30 range. You shouldn't be paying 50, 60, $70 a bottle for this stuff. That is the most nice I've ever got out of a Jack Daniel. Wow. All right, that's that's interesting. That smells good. Yeah. So this is a triple mash. This is a, a blend of their Tennessee rye, their Tennessee whiskey, and a new malted. And it's a blend of those three. All three of those are bonded. A blend of those, because this is a bottled in bond. You can smell the malt in there. Leading to a long-lasting, well-rounded finish. I freaking hope so, man. Better taste good. That it smells like it's gonna taste good. That looks oily. It does. It's got a nice oily. It, it's not as dark as I like it, but that darkness isn't everything. But it does look really oily. The bottle's right. It smells like honey. You're right. It smells like malts. It's an interesting. It's an interesting nose. Hey, if you like what we're doing. Hit the like button and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. Let's not let's not waste too much time. I, I kind of want to to try this almost immediately. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank before you drink. Better than bonded. Leagues above number seven. Oof. I put this up there, taste wise. To the single barrel. That's tasty. That is. That's that very is tasty. tasty. This is actually pretty well oh. balanced. They did, okay. They did some homework on this one. On the bonded, I was like, okay, it's much better than old number seven, but I don't think it's worth the added price because it's like 12, 15 bucks more. Yeah. This, I'm just gonna say, I like this a lot. Oh, <laughs> hey, did you go back for a second? Uh huh. That honey gets in there. <laughs> oh, the honey's in there. That's super sweet. That's that's balanced. I like that. It's extremely well balanced. Jack the flavor profile. I mean, it's just there's no spiky notes. It's just like that smooth roll mm -hmm. from that that you get that sweet uh, honey up front, that maltiness, a creaminess. Yeah. Then that kind of dissipates back, and you get this this nice warm hug. Lit very little spice. Very little spice. I don't, I'm not picking up any like oak tannins or anything like that. I picked up just a tiny bit. That was, this is our first pour of the day. It's yeah. the first video we filmed today. So that's the first drink we've had, first sip we've had. So I picked up a little bit of it, but that second that second sip, none of it. I mean, hey, they, they kind of labeled it right, soft oak. All right. I'm gonna tell you, that, that's like, kind of like a burnt sugar cookie. When I yes. say burnt sugar cookie, it's not like it's charred beyond recognition. It's still, it's like burnt sugar almost. Yeah, so, it, okay, so what you're describing, this is the way I love my cookies. It's not burnt, but you get them super brown so that yeah. the sugar caramelizes yeah. Yeah. on it. And you, it develops. Caramelizes. Yeah, I did that for you. Thank you. It, uh, it develops all kinds of flavors that you don't get otherwise. I'm shocked. I really am. I am too. Uh, I mean, I, like you said, I haven't had anything like this except for the single barrels. This is significantly cheaper than the single barrels. I don't buy it a lot. I mean, this is twenty to thirty dollars a bottle cheaper yeah. than the single barrels. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna keep this in stock. Jack Daniels, you hit this out of the park. It's Bonded, not good. so much. I mean, hey, for a Jack Daniels fan, go for it. Triple mash. 
I don't care whether you're Jack Daniels fan or not, this is damn fine whiskey. This is worth the 35 to 40 bucks that you're gonna pay for it. This has got some flavor profiles in it that I just was not expecting out of a Jack product, especially not something in their staple lineup that's, uh, that's priced like this is. This is good. You guys did well. You did super well. And that's coming from me. Personally, that doesn't really like Jack too much. Guys, if you like the triple mash, check out our bondage review right here.